All right guys, so this is a video that you guys have been requesting for the past month or so. This is part two from the trip that Ed and myself took to Matt's collection. Now Matt has a ton, and I mean a ton of prototypes, uh, concept, uh, original artwork for TMNT, Toxic Crusaders, uh, Willow, Dick Tracy, Star Wars, Masters of the Universe, all sorts of stuff. So what you're gonna see, we're gonna start off with the uh, some of the original artwork for these TMNT play sets and action figures, original uh, card backs, uh, concept card backs. There's just so much in here. Everything from paperwork all the way to uh, actual like first shot action figures prototypes guys there's just so much in this video so guys i hope you enjoy this video um this is some crazy stuff that you're about to see and i am very excited that we can take you on this journey and see what we saw in person so let's roll it And repurpose the part of the the helicopter, probably. Yep. Or it might just be an early concept of it. I'm not sure. I love how it's movies. like partially done. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to recreate all that detail of the original one just to show it with the. With yeah, because there's there's supposed the to be something out of there. That's the original final design art. And then this is just like a whole packet of all the different iterations that kind of led up to that. But, you know, these are all kind of the rough drawings of Metalhead. You see how that kind of like inspired that final one? But then you have like just some roughs here. So, so yeah, just several pages here. All the rough sketches that went into the final. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Alright, here's some of the mini uh, blueprints. Yeah. They come in the mini play sets. And then some of these actually have some of the original like um, pencils. So this one is, I'm not sure which one, but you can see how detailed these drawings are and how I mean, it's just all about a vellum. It's like architecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, Mini Dimension X playset. These are all the tiny little parts, each component that goes into it. I don't know if these are easy to see or not on the, with the backgrounds, but... Yeah, that's <laughs> the detail for the portal. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> then they add in like little little parts uh, printed or yeah. Like, I don't know if like they, they cut it out and then they these parts like, were approved or something and oh, then they okay. just maybe some of the parts were not approved. And then they just and, add it to it and. Yeah. And just from the from those, they would be copied onto just you know like blueprint, and they would take the these blueprints would then be sent to all different areas of the like the the sculptors and the oh, yeah that's the proof. So this is the only um, photo staff that's turned up so far that we've turned up at least. This for Leonardo, even though it has the raffle on it. Um, I, I think they used a generic card back. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how many you want. I, I think it's okay, actually. Like, um, there's, yeah, there's a lot to go through. Yeah, so maybe I'll pull out like. Oh, here's the. It's Leonardo. just like a. There it is. So they would. And this is the back. They would just print these out and send them off to 
people to, to prove Jones original. I got it because I have a Casey Jones run. <laughs> That's all from Jim Lawson. Let's see here. Oh, this is my Willow stuff. Will yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got the show coming out, you know. Mm. So there's me and one other guy have pretty much all the Willow pre production. Really? Yeah. There's very little of it's turned up. But, um. A proof of the front and back for Willow. <laughs> Set these here if you want. Okay. Transparencies for the packaging, oh, wow. for the marketing. <laughs> it's hard for these transparencies to show. Yeah. And you got the uh, all the additional bones for it. So. This is these do not turn up a lot, especially for like playmate stuff, because all this stuff went to the Orient. But for some reason, the artist was allowed to keep this one. It's the toilet pack. <laughs> So this is the original packaging art. So you have the the transparency overlay, and then you got the color backer. Yeah. What? That's so cool. And the guy that did this is that Joe King, and he has his own unique style. So you can tell which ones are his. Mm -hmm. It's like this. I think it's the. Um, I don't know. He's got like three or four that have this very similar style. The one where he's like the turtles are. Uh, being tortured with the ooze. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, You'll the, notice the the, the flush on Yeah. Would you mind if I like hold it for a picture? Yeah, go this on. thing is like. I, don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't realize it was like done like that. We like yeah. the black the color. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. That's so cool. Crazy. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow. Mutations logo. This is this is the original art for the stretch. So it had an overlay too, but there was nothing on it. So this was modified slightly for um, before it went to uh, production. Production. So the guy got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm not keeping all this stuff. I, I got to keep all my kidneys. In Mexico, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win. Fast male action for a license. So yeah, that was the this is, um, this looks style interesting. Guy. Oh okay, I like that. Yeah. Alright, here's the Secret Wars shield. So they each came with a yeah. little, you know, three or four shield inserts. I'm telling you, they, they canceled the line after two series here in the States. They made the series three in Europe. This was going to be part of series four, I believe, which was the da Dazzler. They were going to make her. And this was her gun or her ship or vehicle or whatever. But Larry Hama is the one that did that, which is pretty cool. He's the one that did uh, basically Jay, all the Joe Jay comics. Joe, yeah. He's a freaking legend, that guy. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. These are Errol, Errol McCarthy. So he did these. Um, so this was for a glass, like a premium for I think Burger King. Like when the etch glasses, or yeah. So this is the original art again. It's that uh, that acetate overlay oh, yeah. with the color on the one behind it. <sighs> so sick. Me get a little close up on the do not touch. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. The Skeletor. 86, so they were doing a style guide, I guess, for licensors. And so this oh, was the cool. Skeletor that was part of that I've style guide. I've seen that. This, this artwork on anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that was the carnage in the back. That's cool though. I need to get Errol McCarthy to autograph. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what vehicle that was a part uh, of. But. I think that's the turtle copter? The, the bottom? The yeah, bottom? I, think, yeah. I think that's right. The other thing, I don't um, know. Some of it is, some of it. Yeah. Maybe they wanted to put this on the, the, like the trash can. Oh, the trash I figured out what that was. I just yeah. don't remember. I don't think but, but it's, it's just orange. Like, sure. like it, sure. they didn't put it on. Um, mm, I like no that. Way. No that. What? I think it's pretty cool. Oh wow. God. God. <laughs> yeah, this is turtle copter here. What's yeah. put into it to make it? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It's crazy. This is where it's going to go. Is it to make my day, Leo? Leo Sewer Samurai. Undercover Don. Wow. And then So they created a lot of these sketches for like the ten backs and the card like the card backs. I think they wind up only picking three for each card back. And so these are the one like the ones that they didn't use. So I guess they did four for each character. See that? I'll bury them out here. I'll, I'll, put, them out. I'll put them as a black backdrop so you can see them better. Yeah. Oh, it's elf. It's the downy. The, the sports. Oh, the sports. <laughs> this is, uh, what? These are just photocopies. Those are not originals. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, nice. Shelf talk. Wonder Bread. Yeah, the little Wonder Bread trading cards. That's cool. Little shelf talk. Or some guy like had hundreds of these and but. Tracy stuff just rarely turns up. This gal who had this stuff, she was uh, she was part of the people that did all the packaging and design. She laminated, she laminated it. everything. Oh, so man. in all of our travels, this is the only Big figure crazy. proof to turn up. Oh wow! Let me get the old wristwatch proof. His famous wristwatch. I had that. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool toy. It was. And then just a bunch of box flaps for the, you know, the crime stuff. He's so serious. This would be a big toy, like, like today, like kids like this role play. This didn't mm -hmm. come out, did it? What's that? Did that come out? Yeah, all this stuff. Oh, okay, came out. yeah. These are really cool. The cars. All the, you know, all the card backs for Dick Tracy. They have the, they have the comics, yeah. mm -hmm. comic strips. Here's all the mechanicals for the whole run. So like here's the itchy. So again, all these have like the overlays. See so the original art there, and he just superimposed the influence. We'll get maybe here's the big boy. Big boy. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Mumbles. <laughs> you have the tram? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got them all. <laughs> it's a big this is um, what is it, Pender Dragon Studios? Um, so that's Joe King, the guy that created all these. He was an independent contractor. Yeah, I don't think too many people have seen what the back of the blank card looks like. Usually you just, that's cool, I'll show you. Uh, Just so it's everywhere, like they know. Yeah, what it is. Is like yeah. keep it consistent. I guess. Um, the kid. So they didn't make the kid. Um, so I guess they were gonna do like a second series. So here was as far as they got on the kid, Dick Tracy, because they only made Tracy and catch him for the good guys. So this is like gonna be like the third guy. We saw that approve. I get a picture of that. that. I really wish they did. And you think these were uh, proposed for the second run or second um, wave? Or, or they just didn't make the cut for the first I one? think they just probably didn't make the cut. Lemos. That's Mike the Lemos. Yep. Mike Lemos. Mike Lemos. Mike Lemos. Wow. This is 
psycho. Is it a psycho? Psycho cycle. cycle. Turtle. Right, this is a smog cycle. Smog cycle. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Again, you got a couple different versions here. Mike Lamos. Helicopter. Oh. oh wow, that's cool. Hold on, let me... There's two of them in here. There's a Tracy and there's a Breathless, and the Breathless one's awesome. That was pretty cool. Sick. No. Thank you. So this is cool. That's the early before they changed it to the that's the To get a couple more like the undercover don i just i never got this is probably one. like because the storage shell came out a year earlier this one was 90. then they did all three other ones yeah that was later. 90. And this is the did, first one yeah so they did him as a part of the kind of that first disguised like special turtle yeah the variation run. let's start with this one one of two known oh no so it's got the, uh, it's a 10 back, but he's got the silver armor. Like the Toon Shredder almost? Yeah. Wow. So what's the story behind it? So the Toon Shredder has like a dark chest plate. Mm -hmm. So we got this at the VP of marketing for Playmates. It was just in a box with a bunch of other mock-ups. So I guess the, maybe they were like mocking this one up to see, like, do we want to do it in silver or blue? I think I went with blue. Yeah, so I set it up like this. Just, yeah, so cool. oh, this is cool. It's a bootleg Usagi. You rarely see him on the card. Where does the bootleg originate from? Tortuga? Mexico. Ninja? So it's a Mexican yeah. bootleg. Yeah. But on the card. You kind of grade it. Wow. Yeah, just to. Oh. <laughs> now, this one is like bonkers. Dude, this is bonkers. Very rarely do you see a. It's about to get insane, guys. Prototype turn up like this. But Movie turtle giant. It's a build your own. <laughs> it's a bath. <laughs> <laughs> build your own giant turtle. I, I think. Um, Chris has, has another one, right? He has the Leo. Yeah, I right. think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he has one, if not two. But I think it's just. So these were the ones that Could, you would see at Toy Fair? Yeah, these, I'm, there's really no reason to do these other than Toy Fair. And they're just, you know, this is like blow molded almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really light. And then these are resin, all the limbs are resin, and then resin. the, the uh, this is like hollow blow molded. So this is just kind of hand done. Wow. Got a little production weapon to go with them, but. First shot? Yeah. So the first shot is, is actually functional then? Yeah. So this yeah. So this is that was just like done as a test. Right, so they just did it in the available colors they had. Yeah. So it should still work. It does. I mean his it looks like Mirage Shredder almost. 
it's mm -hmm. due to yeah. the color, I think, mm -hmm. because this is what ended up being it, the head sculpt, right? Yeah, yeah, that scope isn't different. It's just the colors that bring it out now. It, it looks cool. more menacing. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Wow, Craig, your glasses just dropped. I know, because man. Because you're holding a first shot prototype. I know, It yeah. still works. It still works. It still works. Wow. It's so cool, man. Hold it. Hold it. Mm -hmm. See it's fierce. That works. That works. Oh <laughs> what are you thinking, buddy? I think uh, cancel everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything we're, we're saying. This ain't here. So, let's so, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, I guess this is the wax. Eighty-eight. Here, what's uh, different? Uh, that was the the one from eighty-nine. So this is the rock study. This is I showed you on the card yeah. back. It's got the alternate sculpt for the head. So this is the hard copy for that. So if you'll notice, it's got the non-production. It's got more fang to it. Or yeah, they hit the, the extra teeth fang. on the other. Also very early. Is so this the plane? This is the Mattel? No, no, no. Okay. So on the card backs, you'll notice on this very early card back, I don't know if you can tell, but these have a little slash mark through their chest. Mm -hmm. oh, and they're yeah. just a little bit different from production. So this is actually one of the, it's a hard copy of that body that has that slash, slash right there, the little slash marks. There's a rumor that those were just kind of outlines for where the belt would go, like okay. across their waist <laughs> or the torso, but I don't know if that's true or not. But just missing a head. Um, here's a complete one of those that turned up. Um, Yeah, yeah. Deal and it's just all a hand cut cape robe. It's a first shot figure as well. But I was like, matched, so like, I've is this the, then like a soft head or? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to push it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to push it. <laughs> this is the one you all saw in the pictures for the toy fair. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Here's one where he has like a different color head. Yeah, he used to paint a lot of it himself, like, yeah. and like doing multiples. It's just like, cause at one point they were just like pumping them out, like production color scheme. No, no, indeed. Yeah, wow. And then here's the gun. They like took the butt stock off. It looks the... a bit bigger than. The production. He might. I, he might. The, the, so they shrink. Shrink down I mean, a little bit. Star Wars was four percent. These are up to ten percent. So that head sculpt is like so. <laughs> so <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> I always wondered if like they repurposed the Toxie skull for him because he's got the independent like pelvis that's yeah. different from his torso. Like mm, true. Okay, so it's just the plastics that they had available, or nope. So this is proto molded. So this is like, if if you feel it, it's totally handmade. So it's not plastic, and it's not resin. It looks like it was just kind of like, uh, it's made of. I don't know what the material is made of, or something? but it's completely oh, no, it's, hand done. You can, yeah. It's like.
I like the color. Mm -hmm. I like the colors look great. Right. <laughs> oh, and look at the joint that connects the head. Yeah, you'll see. Uh, can you open it up? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, kind of uh, tight. Uh, you can see the pin over there. Oh yeah. It's just completely handy. If you just take your fingernail and scratch the uh, inside of the shell, you'll feel the resin. Oh yeah. And these are just production limbs that, he hand, that they painted over just to make it look like rafts. And I think the head is all cast and it's a resin head. It's, and that's it's a piece kid bashed, are, yeah. Yeah, it's totally kid bash piece. But they have to change this, or is it? Yeah, that yeah, one see, is you can tell that's just from the first 88 series and they just clipped it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to hold it? I do. It's my, <laughs> this is my turtle. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is the fucking dopest prototype we've ever turned up. So this one was probably done for Toy Fair 2. Um, it was either that or it was. Um, I don't think it's the one that was used for the packaging art. I think this was mm -hmm. Toy Fair. He has the human hands. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the antenna. I know, we'll <laughs> one little dark What is that thing? So these are like the attachments for his hands. Okay. So I guess they were going to make these as a separate part, but then probably yeah, so tooling got to go be yeah. too crazy, so. Yeah, he's got it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a gorgeous toy. Yeah, they, that 1991 is great. In Europe, we got like a color difference. Like, I don't think in Europe it does the color change oh, thing. Right. Yeah, it, it has a different. Oh, yeah. This is. This one is dope. It's 12 ish. Dude. D what? <laughs> what do we have here? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> and the smaller one. Yeah, so we got his little little brother here. <laughs> and big brother. The photos on my Instagram are really good at this one. So if you want to use that one, please feel free. But again, this is a Toy Fair piece. This is all like a blow molded. Yeah. Just uh, wipe the paints like oh yeah, kind of yeah. not great. Right. Okay. This head's like blow also molded. blow molded. Mm. You can put them together if you want. Gave you the wax and well, I owned, the yeah. production. I mean, I, they, they were mine. I just had him do them, Ooh. so I owned them because I paid him. So he, oh, like that, yeah, yeah. yeah he gave me. He, I think he kept a. Okay. Yeah, because most of that is done in Japan, right? The, yeah. The, uh, no, it's uh, done in Hong Kong and the Orient. Hong the Orient, Kong. yeah. Oh no! That, what? No! It's like that, the original clay. So it's like the the one that they remade now in the big. Yeah, this is yeah. this is the one I have. Like, like the Mattel Creations. The, yeah, the Mattel Creations one. Well, this is this the is one. what it based. Like, yeah, this is the original, original. Like the first thing they ever did <laughs> was the clay for Ripster. That's him. Okay, we talk about that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping him up. I do like. He's like. Here, we put them on this. Yeah. 
I'll stand him up. I'll move this mic out of the way here. I'll let y'all do this. Toxi sculpt. And then a headbanger sculpt. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. Just wow. <laughs> the last four words. They would do the pour wax, wax. And then they start creating in on the wax, make a new mold. And but that's where it all started right through. The whole line started right there with that. Because this is probably like, it's got some wires in it. Yeah, there's an armature yeah. under there probably. Here's that glow in the dark first shot. So I don't know if like they were planning on doing. That's the one without the headband. Yeah, here I'll put them on here so you can have a mirror. Wow. So there, this was the, how he was originally gonna be, and then they added the uh, headband. You got another couple head sculpts as well, see? Yeah, and here's a couple of like wax, non like, non-final wax pieces here. Here's him in a alternate, like, U.S. <laughs> version. We found a couple like that, so they must have been toying around with a patriotic theme. Can I get a picture with that? Yeah, yeah. sure. That we talked about yep. and we added yep. stuff so we would stand up yep. better with, with uh, the movement going on. Yep. Because bending on. Side piece. Yeah, that thing is like 100% hand done. That's a really cool piece. Making. They need a, a master 3D light, like a master 3D Homer. Um, yeah. To scan or whatever, just for their rights. Mm -hmm. um, I was just gonna get a shot like that. Just... This one is unproduced. No, that's Molrom. So they. Uh, yeah, they made that one. They made that this one. This is the other one here. Dr. Jones. You call him Dr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just like... So the scope is like right here. I think it is. He did. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was pretty mind blowing what we saw. I'm very happy that I am able to uh, show you guys everything that we saw firsthand because it was mind blowing. Let me know down below, what is one item from everything that you saw that you would love to own? Let me know. Make sure you're following Ed's Retro Geek Out because he's gonna have a video from what we just did, what you just saw on his channel. So follow Ed. Matt, if you're watching this, thank you so much for letting us come over and showing us the uh, some of the gems in your collection. That was just uh, very nice of you. Thank you so much. Guys, that will do it. Until next time, peace.